You called me that you are not feeling well. Are you well now? You are still not feeling well. What's wrong with you? Your, your head coming down to your neck, to your shoulder. They want to give you stroke? Come, let me pray for you. Lift up your two hands. I see this baby. I see this baby lying in a coffin. How many children do you have? You have two. The boy and this one. You, you were not meant to have children. And this is how they joined the church with their husband. When they came, they were pregnant. And I didn't know she was pregnant. In Avondale. And I called her and I prophesied. And I said, the baby in your womb, they pick the baby in the realm of the spirit, to the spiritual world, and they play football with the baby. So you will give birth to a stillbirth. Right? Was that a prophecy? And before you came to church, what was she experiencing? She will have what? She would have dreams while they are beating her, and when she wakes up, she will have marks on her. On she her. was pregnant? Yes, daddy. And she will have dreamed that they are beating her in the dream? Yes. And when she will wake up, she will have marks. marks on the, on you the mean pregnant. spiritual mark or physical mark? Physical marks. Physical marks yes, daddy. on her womb? Yes, daddy. You see the battle we have fought, Amen. and we are still fighting. Amen. I just prayed in church, and that was it. Amen. And she gave birth to this baby boy. And the Lord even told me, I've just remembered, the Lord told me that why they are attacking her and they are attacking the baby in the womb is because the spirit of Benahin, Pastor Benahin, all the way in America, is upon this boy who is in the womb of the mother. And I even mentioned that you are going to give birth to a baby boy, true or false. And when was the baby born? The baby was born on the day Benahin celebrated his birthday in America. And people all over, people all over started sending me messages. That you are indeed a man. You are indeed a man of God. Just as you said, the baby was born on Benahin's birthday, and it was on social media that the day Benahin was born. This one, I see her lying in a coffin, and the, and the enemy is saying, "You, you are not supposed to have a child." And the reason why you have had a child and you have had another child is because of the prayers we are praying for you, and the prayers you are praying for yourself as well. So don't become too swollen-headed. Eh? Don't become too solely headed. I will see you on social media and you are dancing. Hey, to worldly music and even, it is good, but add prayer to it. Because you are not supposed to have a child, if not for God. This is your daughter. I am seeing it with my eyes that she's lying in a coffin. Beaten by a scorpion. She was beaten by what? A scorpion. A scorpion. When? The day before yesterday. The day before yesterday. Meaning Friday. Mm -hmm. She was beaten by a scorpion. They want to kill her. As she is there now, the wound of the scorpion spiritually is running through her DNA. Mm. So she will start coughing, she will start becoming weakly, they will shake, pour water on her head, they will run to the hospital. At the end of the day, if not for this prayer, yes. spiritually what I am seeing was going to manifest. Mm. But we are going to show the devil Amen. where he lives so he can go back to where he came Amen. from. Amen. If you are jamming for the Lord, May God preserve and protect your children. Amen. May God preserve and protect your children. Amen. Holy Ghost. Fire. Ay, 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 ay. Husband, come. Which part of the body did the scorpion uh, stink? Which part of the body? Show me. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. Show me. Show me. There is no one else for you. You do miracles so Just seen an angel of the Lord, yes. And as the angel of the Lord was coming down, he was coming with a birth certificate, amen. And the Lord said, Instead of her death certificate given to you, the Lord said, He has given you her birth certificate, amen, which is symbolic to the gift of life, amen. 
when a person is born, mm. we are given birth certificate. Amen. When a person is dead, we are given death certificate. Amen. The fact that birth certificate has been presented to you mm. is a sign that the impending death yes. that will make her mm. lie in that coffin, the Lord showed me. Mm. The Lord has cancelled it. Amen. The Lord has cancelled it. Amen. You see, your husband is very committed mm. to God and to Amen. prayer. Amen. And there is nothing a man will desire in this life than having a wife who is equally committed in serving God with him. Amen. A home that is divided cannot stand. Yes. Okay? So my advice to you is that the fact that God, on both of these your children, God has preserved their life, means that God is interested in this marriage. Amen. And I told you so many things. The first day, that night when you came, I told you so many things which I don't want to go into. Turn your face back to God and become committed. Committed Christians. Huh? My like, you will not find it anywhere in Zambia. Outside Zambia, you will find my like. But here, you will not find anywhere. So whatever you need to tap from me before the time will come, tap it now. Come to church. Come and pray midweek, Sunday. Come to church and pray. You see my wife, there is no armor bearer helping her. She's alone with these children every Sunday. Midweek, she's here. She comes with the children. Children doesn't even stop her supporting me, her husband. So children should not stop you from coming to church. You cannot be at home a whole month and your husband is coming to church and you are home. You see what they are doing to your child now? How can a scorpion enter your home and doesn't sting anyone than your child innocently? Sting the child. So if not, this grace you are under, the doctors will do all their scanning, they will not find the problem. But spiritually, there is poison in her. So this is my advice to you. Because most people in Zambia, you are not serious with God. You serve God with your mouth, but not with your heart. You confess it, but the commitment we don't see. Okay? So I'm not missing words. To you as your spiritual father and to you as my spiritual daughter i'm not missing words become committed and serve god with all that you have and that is where you see the glory of god in your life amen okay otherwise to get to a point some of these things i will turn a blind eye because then you are not serious a word to the wise is enough it's enough the lord said you, should, you must drop money on the altar any amount of money drop it on the altar and God said he will use it as point of contact for this prayer I'm praying for you I'm not asking you for a prophetic seed though the Lord said drop it on the altar I don't charge to pray for people the tears yes. that were already in your eyes yes. that were about to manifest mm. father I thank you that you have wiped away those tears amen she will not bury her, her daughter yes she will not bury her son yes Benahim. I prophesy mm. for divine protection yes. and divine preservation. Yes. May your angels yes. enter into that home, yes. enter into that house. Yes. And the Lord says, mm. what has taken place in the realm of the spirit, yes. that seed you drop on the altar will exchange Amen. what has taken place in the yes. realm of the spirit. Because in the realm of the spirit, mm. I saw you dropping money on the altar. And when the money touched the altar, the money touched a sword. Yes. And I saw the sword entering into your house. So the angels of God has left a sword of protection in your house. Amen. When the witches and wizards will turn and come. And hear me, this attack that is happening, it is not coming from him. It is coming from you. The witches in your family, they are constantly on your case. There have been occasions where they have even impressed it on you to say, one day when he leaves and he goes to work, by the time he comes back, you have packed all your things and you have left. It has been there. That pressure has been there for you to pack your things and leave. If I'm lying, tell me I'm lying. Huh? I'm not lying. Say it louder. Yes. So the witches and wizards, I am seeing them around you and they are coming from your family side. And the spirit of God said, that seed you are dropping on the altar, there is a sword the angels of God have left in your house. That any day, this evil spirit will come to attack you, your husband and your children, the sword will rise and the sword will fight them. So such a person, if you don't serve this God, then I don't know. Because God is interested in preserving your life. Amen. I wish God would show me that as I'm in church, there is a sword. 
waiting for the witches when they come to my house. You are so favored and you are so blessed. Amen. I have prayed for you. Yes. You will be preserved. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Jump your hands for the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus.